What are the most pressing issues that you think we are facing? Big one for me is education. Smaller communities losing population. For farmers to be able to break even, let alone make money. We don't seem to be able to have a dialogue anymore. Methamphetamine. Children's mental health. Land use. Climate change. Climate change. It's just higher. Options are probably falling down hill since then. Many Americans' lives are not dominated by some of the more gossipy things that are constantly happening in Washington, D.C. You know, they're worried about paying their bills. They're worried about getting their kids to their Little League games. They're living their own lives. When the results of November 16 came in, and I was deeply concerned, I wondered whether we had lost touch with the average American. For a long time, I was stuck in a job just because I was the one that provided the insurance. And um, my husband ended up having cancer, so we needed to have the insurance. So many students are graduating with so much debt that we really can't afford to take a minimum wage paying job in rural communities. The good paying jobs are more in the urban areas. I think you ask people, would you rather have middle-aged people with, with children spend money on productive aspects of the economy, or should they just continue paying interest on debt? The tax returns, the Mueller report, things like this, you know, that dominate the headlines, you know, aren't uppermost in the minds of most voters. It's the day-to-day -day kitchen table issues that matter the most. It's like the laws of supply and demand have just gone out the window. And when we've got these conditions where it seems as though logically wages would go up, they just don't. And how can a family survive on minimum wage? I can't imagine how that's even possible. There's people that see us for our value, and there's other people that see us as criminals. And regardless of status or not, we're criticized and labeled because of the color of our skin. Abraham Lincoln said, with malice toward none. I think folks are tired of all the acrimony uh, that we're seeing in this country right now. People in general want to treat others with grace and humanity we're all in this together and we ought to be working together, crafting solutions that take care of the acute needs we have today. It's been a great pleasure to spend time with you and thanks for having us in your community. Folks out there are hurting. We've seen the issues where they need help and they need help now. Thanks very much. It's a great honor to be here, and Steve, thanks for including me in our organization. I disagree profoundly with the idea that we are a deeply divided nation. The video you just saw was uh, a little bit of a summary of a tour we did of 10 states across the country where we conducted over 30 focus groups uh, over a two-year period. We were in 10 states. Wherever we went, Whoever we talked to, the issues were the same. Didn't matter if we were talking to Republican groups or Democratic groups. Didn't matter whether we were talking to men only or women only. And irrespective of ethnic background. And I was surprised. This is not what my expectation was when I began this project. But the same small set of issues bubbled to the top in every single group. <clears throat> Runaway health care costs, dead-end jobs, the burden of debt, in particular student debt, is rampant. Opioid crisis is pervasive. It is truly the case that most of the folks in most of my groups cannot afford to miss a single paycheck. 
What these folks aren't that concerned about are the things that dominate CNN and MSNBC and Fox News. People aren't concerned about Melania's high heels or Trump's tax returns. Impeachment wasn't going on when I was doing my groups, but I would bet you by the time that has come and gone, that won't be on anybody's mind either. Yet neither party is laser focused on these everyday kitchen table issues that matter profoundly to the voters across this great country. Yet that is where, where we will find our common ground. It's a great pleasure to be associated with The Hill and with you, Steve, and to be able to help sponsor this great day.